Good morning friends. In this video, we will discuss about how to construct a DFA over alpha of x a comma b for a longest L1 where length of the every string is exactly 2. In the last video, I have discussed what is a DFA and how to represent the DFA. If you have not watched the video, I request you to go and watch the video. Then come to this video so that you can understand the concept in a better way. If you have not gone through that video also, let me explain for you. You please try to learn it. Okay. If you does not understand, you please go through that video. So what they have given alphabets, they have given a comma b and they are saying that there is a long ways L1 where length of every string is exactly 2. So what is this long ways? First, I want to represent the long ways. So the long ways L1 consists of all the strings because we said that long ways is a string collection of strings so what are the strings are possible or the alphabet c a comma b when length of every string is exactly two so what are the strings will be there one is a a another one is a b then b a then b b will be there okay so you have a a a b b a and b b so this is the long ways is possible or alphabets a comma b and exactly length is 2. So whether it is a finite long ways or infinite long ways, it is a finite long ways. So if it is a finite long ways, we can easily represent with the finite automata. Even if it is infinite long ways also, we can represent it. So now what I want to do is I want to construct the DFA. So first let me construct the skeleton DFA. What is the skeleton DFA? I will take the smallest string possible means here all the strings length is exactly 2. So I will take a a and I will construct the DFA. So let me see. On from a state q0 on taking a I will go to q1 state. From q1 I will take a and I will go to q2 state. Why I am doing like this? Because from an initial state q0 if I take a I will go to q1 from q1 if i take a i have to reach the final state okay what is the meaning of this one i will explain for you you don't worry okay so what i want to say is that if i take a a finally i have to reach to the final state once you have taken the string from the initial state and if you reach the final state then i can say that the string is accepted by the this dfa are you able to understand let me repeat again from the initial state by taking the input stream, if you reach the final state, suppose if you see that A, I reach Q1, from A, I have reached to Q2. So I can say that A, A is accepted. Okay. So now it can be, if you see that they are saying that on from Q0 on B, you should go to Q1, from Q1 on B, you should go to Q2. Such a way that B, B will be also accepted. So another combination is you will have B here and b here is it clear q naught on a on a you can reach q2 so a a is accepted let me see this one a a is accepting now a b is accepting because on a b you are going to the final state on b a are you reaching the final state q naught on b i am going to q1 from q1 on a i am going to q2 so even b a is accepting we will see bb q0 on b we are reaching to the q1 from q1 on b we are reaching to the q2 so i can say that this dfa whatever we have constructed is accepting all the strings in the given long ways l1 okay now we need to check whether we have completed the construction of the dfa or not when we can say that it is a dfa remember this point for from each state you have to represent what is happening on a comma b means because the alphabets I have given is a and b so from each state you should have a transition to exactly one state is it clear from q0 on a you should go to some state q1 from q0 on b you should go to some state which can be q1 or q2 whatever it is but you should not there should not be a condition that from Q0 on B, you are going to Q2. From Q0 on B, you are going to Q1. This is not allowed. Why? If then it is not a DFA. There should be a deterministic is there. From Q0 and an input alphabet B, where should I go? If I write like this, 
there is a non deterministic is introduced why right? from q0 on b should i go to q2 or should i go to q1 there is a confusion so this one we will call it as a not a dfa is it clear we can call it as an even nfa but when it comes to the dfa from each state q0 q1 q2 what is the transition function on a and what is the transition function on b we should represent so if you see that q0 on a it is going to one state q0 on b it is going to one state if it is going to the same state no problem from q0 q1 also we have going to a single state now you can ask me sir about q2 you have not discussed what is this q2 from q2 on a and b what is happening we have not represented okay now if you see that i will discuss i can directly discuss the solution but let me introduce this suppose if i write a here see i can go to q0 from q2 on a i can go to q0 whether it is right or wrong we will see later but from q2 i can go to q1 or from q2 i can stay in the q0 itself first let me write that a comma b i am going to q0 what is happening we will see okay now if you see that 3 as 5 as what is happening we will see one a it is going to q1 and another a it is going to q2 and another a it is going to q0 and another a it is going to q1 and another a it is going to q2 so even i can say that 5 as also accepting whether 5 as belongs to this long base no this is not belongs to this given long base so i can say that remember one thing people will always confuse that what are the strings it is accepting it is okay so i no need to worry about it but that is wrong it should accept whatever the dfa you are constructing it should accept all the strings possible in the long base l1 but it should not accept the strings which are not possible in the given long base is it clear if you see that 5 as does not belongs to this long base so whatever the dfa you are constructing it should not accept this 5 as in this case it is accepting the 5 as because on one a you are in q0 on one a you are going to q1 from q1 on a you are going to q2 from q2 on a you are going to q0 from q0 on a you are going to q1 from q1 on a again you are going to q2 so finally you reach reach the final state so meaning is that 5 as is accepted is it clear but it should not accept the 5 as so what i can say this is not the correct one if i write here a comma b what will happen then what is the length of the string it is accepting minimum is it is accepting 3 years not 3 years 4 years it will accept let me see from q0 on a it is going to q1 from q1 on another a it is going to q2 so 2 years are finished now q2 on a it is going to q1 3 years now from q1 on a it is going to q2 so it is accepting the length of the string of length 4 okay length of the string is 4 because 4 years it is accepting so even it is also not correct then what should i do from q2 i can go to itself then what is happening if you see that it is accepting 3 years it will accept 4 years it will accept 5 years any number of years why so from 2 years you are reaching to q2 on third year again you will be in the q2 itself so you are reaching the final state here are you able to understand if you see the four years even the four years are accepting two years it is reaching to q2 on another two years it is there in the q2 itself so any number of years or any number of length of the string of anything not only years it can be a combination of a's and b's also it will accept let me see this one a b a b what it is doing we will see q0 on a you are reaching to q1 from q1 on a you are reaching to q2 q2 on a you are reaching to q2 itself 
Q2 on B, you are reaching to Q2. Is it clear? So finally, you reach the final step. Even this one A, B, A, B is also accepted. So if this is also accepted, then I can say that whatever the DFA I have constructed is not correct. Because I need to accept the string's length where the length of the string is exactly 2. I should accept them and the strings which are does not belong to this long ways, I should not accept. Then I will say that for the given long ways, this is the correct DFA. But if I leave like this, it is not a complete DFA. If I am attaching to any of the state, it is not done. Then what we will do is that on A comma B, you will go to some dead state. Why this one I will discuss now. We will go to some dead state. If you see this one, it is a complete DFA. Why I can say it is a complete DFA? From each state on alphabets A comma B, you are telling where it should go. So from Q0, A comma B is there. Q1, A comma B is there. Q2, A comma B is there. From even from the D, A comma B, what it should, where it should go, we have represented it should go to D only. So it is a complete DFA. Uh, will you accept? Now we will see what is happening. If I take A, B, A, whether tell me one thing, whether A, B, A should be accepted. No, A, B, A should not be accepted. Why? It does not belongs to given long ways. Okay. So we will check it now. Q naught, we are in the initial state Q naught. Q naught on A, you will go to Q1. From Q1 on B, you will come to Q2. From Q2 on A, you are going to D state. Is it clear? Where D is a final state? D is not a final state. Or I can say that D is a non-final state. Okay? D is not a final state. So I can say that as it is reaching to the non-final state at the end, I can say that ABA is not accepted. Okay, we will see three A's, whether three A's are accepted or not. It, whether it should be accepted or not, it should not be accepted. Let's see whatever the DFA I have constructed, whether it is accepting or not. Q0 on A, I will come to Q1 state. Q1 on A, I will come to Q2 state. Q2 on A, I will go to D, which is a non-final state. So I can say that three A's are not accepted. Okay, now we will see another thing. Whether AB should be accepted or not. AB should be accepted because AB belongs to given long way. Whether AB is accepting from Q0 on A you are coming to Q1. Q1 on B you are going to Q2. Where Q2 is a final state. So I can say that AB is accepted. So what are the strings are possible from the long L1? It is accepting. What are the strings which are not belongs to this long ways is not accepting from the DFA. So I can say that this is the correct DFA. Then you can ask me what is this dead state? Why you are calling this as a dead state? Let me discuss. If you see that once you reach it to this D, state D, you cannot go back to anywhere. Is it clear? Once you reach it to this state, you are trapped. You cannot go any other state. From D on A and B, you will be in the loop in the D itself. So I can say that it is a dead state. So I hope you have understood how I constructed the DFA over alphabets A comma B over long ways L1 where length of every string is exactly 2. Okay. So how many states came? It is 4 states came. Are you able to understand? Because Q0, Q1, Q2 and the 4 states came. So if length of the string is Remember this point. In gate, they may ask you directly like this. If length of the string is exactly m, then how many states are possible? It is m plus 2 states. If you see that in our case, n value is 2, so we got 4 cases. If you get, you can try it also. Exactly 3, you can try, you will get 5 states. Exactly 4, you will get 6 states. So I request you to practice those kind of questions. Okay? So in the next video, we will discuss another example so that you will understand the concept in a better way. Thank you so much.